I need some motherfucking views. Views, views, views. I don't want to be Mr. Views. All right, hello everybody, and welcome. Uh, welcome, my friends. <laughs> welcome, 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 my friends. Ladies and gentlemen, to those of you who live in the United States like me, um, today is a day when, first of all, we honor and remember those who have given the ultimate sacrifice in the line of duty to protect our way of life, to protect our freedoms here in the United States of America. It is an important day. Uh, that that we should definitely take some time aside to you know remember those who have have uh, given their all for us to be, be able to to live the lives we live right. So first of all, thank you to anyone out there for your service. If you have served in the United States Armed Forces, and of course in remembrance of those who have lost their lives. F. L. Gibson, ninety seven. Cheer, says, do you think that being a full-time streamer is similar to serving in the military? No. That's one of the stupidest things I've ever heard in my life. Serving in the military is one of the most uh, selfless giving things you could ever do in your entire life. You're literally putting your life on the line in order to protect the lives and freedoms of everyone else in your country. It's one of the most, in my opinion anyway, one of the most commendable things and most respectable things you can do in your life is to serve in the military. And I've always been a huge, huge, not I don't want to say fan, but supporter and proponent of those who've served in the military. I think that they deserve better treatment when they come back. I think that they, des they should get privileges for the fact that they did sacrifice everything for us. And um, I've always been, a, you know, someone who's going to, during days like today, give a lot of attention to that because, you know, they deserve it. Sometimes they just get glossed over. Sadly, some people in the military, they come back to lives that aren't so good. You know, trying to get employment and stuff. And that's fucked up. And in our country, you know, we have people who are giving the ultimate sacrifice. My life, I'm putting on the line for all of you. And then they come back and we can't give them fucking help to get them, you know, have them have a good life when they return. I think that stuff's messed up. I hear horror stories about it and I'm like so perturbed about it. So... <clears throat> That's why today we, we do respect and remember those who, who didn't make it back, right? So there you go. But no, what a stupid thing to say. How on earth is me sitting here playing video games on the internet anything like serving in the military? That's just a very disrespectful statement, and you should actually apologize to the, the, those who have served that you would even try to make that comparison. That's ridiculous. What's the story about your stupid questions? <laughs> today is actually a national holiday called Memorial Day, and so before we even begin... With anything today, I would like to say to those of you who are American like me, no matter what you're doing today, whether you are watching a live stream, <clears throat> whether you're celebrating with friends and family, whether you're having a nice food cookout, which is a traditional thing that people do on Memorial Day, all right, whatever it may be that you are doing today as a form of whatever, please at least take a moment to remember the memory of those who we have lost who were serving in the military. The United States of America is a world superpower, all right? And a lot of our freedoms that we enjoy are solely because we you have a military presence that allows us to protect those freedoms. And those who have sacrificed and given their lives in order to allow us to continue to live in peace and to have the freedoms that we have should be remembered should be applauded and you know should never be forgotten so taking a quick moment here on stream to just give a shout out to the military and those who we have lost thank you very much for your service halo 5 guardians campaign and some people got took took offense that i actually was able to just walk through a couple of the stages saying why did you do that you should have took your time and did the shooting like it was intended and i'm sorry but let's face it this is 2015 this is not, you know, 2004, whatever the year is that the original Halo came out. Um, and in 2015, you should not be able to just walk through a stage and skip everything in it. There should be game design choices that allow you to have to, or force you to have to fight the combat of the game. And that's not the case in Halo 5. It seems to me that the campaign was made incredibly lazily. 
So I, on a whim, said, gee, I wonder if I just run through the stage like I did with Halo 1, if I could do it. And I can, and I did. And it was a joke. It was a complete joke that you can do it. So I understand some people, well, you didn't take your time. You didn't play how it's supposed to be played. No, I'm sorry if you're a soldier on the battlefield and it's, it's a squad of four against a squad of 400. Would you rather take your time to slowly and grindingly kill every little insignificant grunt on the battlefield? Or if your objective is to just pass the stage, would you just ru just pass the stage and survive? A smart soldier would just fucking survive, right? It's not your job to kill every single grunt. And apparently in this game, it's not either. <laughs> Seriously. like, I, And that, that was something that I directly found uh, in playing this game. Is that it seems to be a just poorly designed campaign. Let's see where it goes. Um, hopefully it gets better. Because the gameplay so far has been pretty bleh. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. If that's how they're going and they're just going to make crappy dialed in or phoned in campaigns. Uh, just for the sake of saying that there's a story. That's kind of lame in my opinion. But hopefully I, I'll be proven wrong here. We'll see. Okay. All right. Only three more questions. Next one's from Joseph Seniza. Excuse me. I probably mispronounced that. Uh, hey, when you were in high school or your mid-20s, did you ever think about joining the military? Yes. And I've told this story before, but I'll very briefly tell it again. When I was in high school, I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. I didn't know if I wanted to go to college, if I wanted to go to the military. Now, my dad was a Marine, and I had considered going to join the Marines and or just the military in general. So I went to the local recruitment board or whatever, and they did an interview with me. Based off of the responses to my interview, they thought that I was a top candidate to be an officer. That's 100% a lie. Oh my God, here? you've got to be kidding me. Okay, now they didn't promise anything. Obviously, you got to go through basic training, but they were like, listen, you know, you're very smart. I didn't know that. I don't know what to do. Okay, I don't even know what that means. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. Dude, I don't even know what, what's going on. Look at this. I don't even know what I'm doing. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. That's the problem. I don't know what else to do. You need to know how to play, which I don't. I don't know what to do. I don't know what I'm doing. How the fuck do I start a mission? I don't know how I start a mission. I have no idea. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> oh my god, you fucking... <laughs> Boy, am I stupid. You're high ranked in your school. You're on track to go to a nice college. But if you go to the military, you'll be an officer. You won't see the, the front lines if you ever do get deployed, yada, yada, yada. <clears throat> and basically, they pumped up the military for me and said that this is going to be a great thing for you. So I remember after doing this interview, I was like, okay, this could be viable. And here's what happened. I swear to God, this is what happened. This is 100% true. No lie. I was about to leave. And as I was about to leave from the interview, the guy who interviewed me said, so what do you think, honestly? And I said, well, I'll be honest with you. A lot of what you said to me sounds attractive, but I do want to weigh and balance my other options too. And, uh, you know, there's a possibility that I'll be back, but, you know, I'm, I'm going to be straight with you. I'm not 100% sold, but I liked what I heard today. The guy was such a cocky fucker. Here's what he said to me. He said, that's okay. I know you'll be back. We'll see you soon. And the second he fucking said that to me, I immediately was turned off from going back. And I never did. Because the bottom line is when you're so... There's one thing. Confidence is one thing. That was cocky, egotistical bullshit. And what I could tell is that in his head, they had ingrained that military shit. Oh, it's the best thing ever. And loyalty to your country. And herp a derp a fucking derp. The stuff that people fall for. That lack of independent thought that he thought... The military was such the best thing. And because I had, you know, they'd done such a good job at selling the military. I was, there was no way in hell that I wouldn't come back. And he said it in such a cocky fucking way that immediately I said, there's no fucking way I would ever go back and be a part of that. And I never did. And since that day, I never considered being in the military, period. And let's face it, with all the shit that happened after that, 9-11 being deployed out in fucking Afghanistan and Iraq and all the, I probably would be dead. I'm just saying, I'll be quite honest, I'd probably be dead. And I'm happy that I didn't make that decision with my life. And no, by no means am I saying that the military is a bad thing. By no means am I saying that people who are loyal to their country or that they're brave and they do that shit in the military, uh, that it's the wrong thing to do. And yes, there absolutely needs to be 
uh, people who are going to stand up and defend our country and our freedoms and our rights. And I actually strongly respect someone who sacrifices their life and their freedom and their well-being to be in the military to let a place like the United States of America exist. But let's face it, <clears throat> the past 15 years, our military was massively misused for shit that I don't agree with. And I'm very happy that I made the decision that I did because I don't even know if I would be here if I had joined the military at that per that time. Real talk. All right. 